This is the large, very busy junction at Astley Bridge, where over a million pounds has just been spent on completely rebuilding the whole junction. Probably not to the benefit of anyone, to be honest. As part of the rebuild, they've put in these uh, rather dreadful shared walking and cycling crossings, uh, which are discussed elsewhere. But what I want to focus on is the junction with Belmont Road on the other side of the big junction. Um, this is where you rejoin the carriageway if you use the crossings and it puts you in a very bad road position as you pass the entrance to, uh, to Belmont Road. Uh, you can see the, the problems in these videos. Um, so here this one's just, just a close pass, uh, it's not actually someone turning up the, uh, the Belmont Road. But uh, these, which are all in the past two years, that one forced me uh, to go into the mouth of Belmont Road. Uh, this one was going a bit more slowly but still uh, cutting me up as uh, as it goes into Belmont Road and this one was more recent about six months ago um, and uh, I was very surprised that I got out of that without being hit uh, it was only because I was able to break and swerve that uh, I avoid being hit there if we look at the layout of the junction it's possible to see uh, why there's uh, such an issue here anybody approaching the junction from the right on Blackburn Road doesn't have to slow down very much to uh, to just uh, turn into uh, to Belmont Road which is go goes off down to the bottom left um, so uh, the problem really can only be addressed by redesigning this junction if the curb alignments were changed as shown here that would force drivers to slow down to make the turn uh, and make them turn at right angles. It would make it less likely that drivers would attempt to turn from the second lane of uh, Blackburn Road, which is one of the problems that exists at this point. In the layout I've suggested there, I've also put um, a cycle bypass through the, the curbing that uh, has been added to the junction. A further advantage of this layout is that it is now possible to put a proper crossing for pedestrians to get across the mouth of the junction, which is another problem with the layout as it currently stands. Reducing the entrance to the junction uh, to one lane in this way is of no detriment to drivers because uh, nobody ever turns up here uh, to abreast anyway. 